Welcome back to the K9 Show, and on today's video, I'm going to discuss everything you need to know about the ball ball. So don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads, but without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Although the actual origins of the ball ball remains a little uncertain, it is thought that the breed came about with settlers from Holland, Germany, France, and England took their dogs with them to South Africa, where they were bred to various local dogs. In the early 1900s, De Beers, the largest diamond mining company for the region, bought overball mastiff type dogs to guard their valuable mines, and it is thought that these dogs contributed to creating the bauble. Their name actually means farmer's mastiff in Afrikaans. Whatever their true origins, the bauble was bred to be a strong, robust and heavy dog that was suited to the harsh, dry and arid South African climate. They were bred to be large enough to scare thieves and robbers off, which these dogs achieved very well thanks to their imposing looks. Today, the bauble remains a very popular choice of watchdog in their native South Africa, both on farms and working watchdogs. However, they have also become a popular choice as family pets thanks to their kind and loyal natures, paired to the fact that they are renowned for their guarding abilities. These large dogs are also gaining popularity here in the UK, although the breed has not yet been recognised by the Kennel Club. The bauble is, however, recognised by the American Kennel Club and other international associations. Males can grow 64 to 70 centimetres, weighing 70 to 90 kilos, with females 59 to 65 centimetres and a similar weight. The Bauble is an extremely large, muscular and stocky dog, but despite their size and rather bulky appearance, they are athletic and boast a quick turn of speed when needed. Males tend to be larger and heavier than their female counterparts, but both boast having large heads, which is the breed's impressive and distinctive feature. Their heads are unique, but always well in proportion with the rest of the body, being broad, short and quite blocky, with dogs having nice full cheeks. A bauble's face blends gradually into the skull and dogs can have a black mask, although many do not. Their ear flaps are set wide apart and carried close to the dog's head, being V-shaped, medium in size and broader at the base, showing no creases. Their eyes are nicely defined and medium in size, being round and facing forward on a dog's face. Stops are clearly visible with dogs having a well-filled space between. A bauble's muzzle is broad and deep, tapering towards the tip of the nostrils and wide apart and large with the leather being black. Their jaws are broad, deep and strong, tapering a little to the front and having no sign of a curve on the lower jaw. Their necks are extremely powerful and moderately long, which dogs hold slightly arched. It flows smoothly to a dog's shoulders, with females showing less muscle than their male counterparts. Baubles have a level, firm, broad top line that extends from behind the wither to the croup and their bellies both being slightly tucked up. Their bodies are compact, very muscular and solid, with dogs having both a good depth and width to them. They have broad, straight backs and very noticeable muscles. Chests are deep, wide and broad, with dogs having well-sprung ribs and loins that are muscular and strong, being slightly narrower than a dog's rib cage and rump. The average life expectancy of a boar bull is between 10 and 12 years when properly cared for and fed an appropriate, good quality diet to suit their ages. Like so many other breeds, the bauble is known to suffer from a few hereditary health issues which are worth knowing about if you are planning to share your home with one of these large attractive dogs. The conditions that seem to affect the breed most include the following. Hip and elbow dysplasia, entropion and ectropion, vaginal hyperplasia, bitches should be tested for this, bloat and gastric torsion, wobbler syndrome, weak immune system, various allergies. The Bauble is a very self-confident dog renowned for being courageous, showing very little fear in any situation they find themselves in, which is one of the reasons they're so highly prized in their native South Africa for being superb watchdogs. It would be fair to say that their brains are wired differently to other breeds. With this said, they're intelligent, but they need to be well socialised from a young age and their training must start early for these large dogs to grow well-rounded and obedient-natured dogs. Well-bred baubles should be trustworthy, reliable and manageable, but what really sets the breed apart from others is the way they go about protecting their families and property, which is a task the bauble takes extremely seriously. They might not be the best choice for first-time owners, not only because of their massive size, but because they need to be trained and handled by someone who are familiar with the needs of this size of dog. In the right hands, with the right socialisation and training, the bauble makes for a nice, albeit large, dog to share a home with. Being so intelligent, baubles need to be given the right amount of mental stimulation on a daily basis for them to be truly happy, well-rounded dogs. Without the right amount of exercise and mental stimulation, they can quickly become unmanageable and that much harder to live with. They need to know their place in the pack and this can only be achieved early in a dog's life with the right sort of socialisation and training. These dogs are never happier when they know what to look for and who to look for for direction and guidance, something they must be taught when they're still young and therefore more manageable. They are a good choice as family pets, although due to their very large size, you need to be careful with toddlers or young children in a household. But for people with older children, the bauble would be fine and they quickly form strong bonds with all members of the family, becoming a valuable and loyal member in the home. 
Any bauble that shows a more dominant side to their nature would need to be firmly taught that this is unwanted behaviour and if necessary, owners should seek professional help to correct things. Signs to watch out for when a dog begins to show a more dominant side to their natures include the following. A dog that jumps up and places their paws on a person's chest, whether a family member or guest. A dog that deliberately knocks into you or knocks children over. A dog that will turn deaf ears to all commands. If they lie in doorways or paths and refuse to move so owners must step around them. A dog lunges for food rather than waiting for the command to eat, or a dog that pushes past an owner to get to the front door or get out the gate first. The bauble is an intelligent dog, however, they boast having very strong guarding instincts, which is something that needs to be gently curbed when these large dogs are still young. Leaving their education until they are older can make them harder to train simply because of their large size. With this said, in the right hands and with the right amount of early socialisation and correct sort of training, the bauble is a very responsive dog and one that learns new things very quickly. The key to successfully training a bauble is to make sure they understand the limits and boundaries which a dog must respect from an early age. So in conclusion, the positives are that baubles are loyal and protective of their families. They have low shedding and low maintenance coats. They can be left on their own, providing it's not for too long. They are a better choice for people with older children, and in the right hands, baubles are easy to train, and they are renowned for being both excellent watch and guard dogs. However, the negatives can include that they have a low boredom threshold and can be destructive if not kept occupied. They must be well socialised from a young age and they might not be the best choice for a first time owner because they need to be handled and trained by someone familiar with their needs. Baubles do not respond well to harsh training methods. They are large and therefore need enough space to be able to express themselves fully and baubles are not suitable for apartment living for that reason. And you also need to be careful that they do have a high prey drive so you need to make sure that they grow up around cats and if not they're well supervised. Click top left to see my top 10 guard dogs for first time owners and see if the bauble makes that list. Or bottom left to check out another one of our videos that I think you'll enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our daily uploads and I'll see you tomorrow on the next episode of The Canine Show.